Hey artists, we're gonna make these awesome Jasper Johns inspired alphabet art pieces. And this is a lesson from Cassie Stevens and we are going to do our own version today and I'll show you every step to make your own. All right, we've got our paper and it's been folded by me um, into seven pieces this way and four pieces this way. So we wanna be able to see those fold marks and I want you to just go to your oil pastels. We've got them divided by cool colors and warm colors. Just pick a color you like. And I want you to very carefully trace over the line. So we're gonna go, I'm not going fast. I see this line goes all the way down. I'm tracing on top of that folded line all the way down. Cool. I see another folded line here. I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna go all the way down the folded line. My oil pastel is tracing right on down. Okay, I see another line that goes here. Tracing all the way down that line. All right, I also see some folded lines going this way. And if you wanna turn your paper, you can. I see this line is coming this way. I'm gonna take this and trace all the way down. Now we are gonna carefully trace each line all the way down. And that gives us our different sections on our paper. They were already folded on, but now we'll be able to see them clearly because we trace them with any color we want of oil pastel. Great, our paper is now ready. The next thing we're going to do is grab the texture plates. Look at this basket of texture plates. So many different textures. We know that textures are how things feel. Look, this is from Legos. We can use that one. We'll just be trading them back and forth. So. You have to take the texture plate with the bumpy side up and put it underneath your paper. Choose a color out of here. You wanna get one that doesn't have the paper on the outside. So there's a lot of them that don't have the paper. And so we're going to put it on its side and just rub over the top. Oh wow, there's the texture showing through. Okay, maybe I'll do another one with that color and this texture plate. Cool. Now I'm gonna take this texture plate and let somebody else use it. And I'm gonna grab a different one. Ooh, this one has a different texture. Put it underneath my paper, get a different color. Now I'm not drawing straight up and down, I'm rubbing on the side. So I put it on the side like that and I rub, rub, rub. Beautiful. Maybe I'll do this one too. Maybe I'll turn my paper and do one more. Great. Put that texture plate back in the pile. Get out a different texture plate. All right, we're gonna put it underneath that paper get a different color of oil pastel on the side and rub, rub, rub. Wow, that texture looks so cool. And you can put it under your paper over here and maybe do a different one. Maybe I'll put one here. Beautiful. Put the oil pastel back, put the texture plate back Get a different texture plate. This one's just some lumpy, bumpy designs. Put it underneath. Gonna get myself a different color. And I'm rubbing on the side. Then I could do this one too. Maybe one more. All right. Put that texture plate away. Go get a different texture plate. This one looks kind of like little flowers. Put it underneath the paper. Find a different color. Let's see. Maybe I'll try this color. Ooh, that's bright. 
and I'll put it under here and do one more with that color. And we're gonna keep doing this. We put this away, put this one away, get out a different texture plate. This one looks like it has little circles. I put it underneath the paper, get a different color and go over the top, rubbing on the paper. Rub, rub, rub. Put this one under here. Rub, rub, rub. Oh, that's looking so cool. Switch, put that one back. Get a different texture plate. And you can kind of look through and find yourself a different color. Put this underneath. Rub, rub, rub. Maybe this one too. Rub, rub, rub. <gasps> cool. Maybe I'll do one here. Our squares are getting all filled with this different, amazing texture. Put the texture plate back. Grab a different texture plate. Here's one I haven't tried. I'll put it underneath there. Now I'm gonna try to find a different color that I haven't used yet. Maybe, oh, I like this darker purple. Okay, I gotta make sure the texture plate is right underneath where I'm about to rub. And then I rub, rub, rub. Rub, rub, rub. Oop. And maybe this one. We're almost done. Let's get a different texture plate. There's a different texture plate. I put it underneath. And I'm going to find a different color. Let's see. Okay. Nice. We can do one here too. Okay, I'm gonna put that back. Grab a different one. Ooh, this one has lots of texture. Put that underneath and I wanna find a different color. Got some red here. Okay, I've got one square left. I'm going to get another texture plate. I think I'll try this one. Take the texture plate underneath, grab your color. And we are done. Once we're done with the texture, we're ready for the next step. Okay, now I've got watercolor paint and water. I'm gonna dip my brush in the water and I'm going to wake up this yellow paint and see what happens when I put the yellow paint over the purple. Wow it kind of goes around the oil pastel. So you can still see the oil pastel and the paint kind of is resisted by it. So that's what we're doing now is we're gonna wash our brush clean, choose another color, see what happens when we put the paint. Look at that, it just goes right in between the oil pastel and that is looking so awesome. So I can choose different colors. I always wash my brush before I pick a new color. Beautiful. Wash my brush clean. Maybe I'll try some green. Oh, that looks so cool on top of the yellow. So we're gonna go ahead and go in and put some paint on top of every square. Look at the way it just kind of pushes the paint right off and then the paint just soaks in in between where we put our texture plate. Okay, I'm just gonna keep painting every square. Okay, now I've got every single square filled in with paint on top of our texture, which is looking so awesome. When we look up close, you can see the texture and then the paint with it looking very beautiful. We're gonna let that dry and then we'll be ready for our next step. 
All right, now the paint is dry. You can see all of that amazing texture in the squares. And now we're going to add the letters. So we are going to be thinking about all the letters in the alphabet. You could kind of sing the song to yourself to help you remember. We're gonna start up here in the top left corner with the capital letter A. I'm making sure I'm not squeezing or pushing too hard so the ink doesn't go everywhere. And my next letter is B. A, B, C, D, and I'm just gonna keep going. Now, if you forget a letter or you accidentally put it backwards, that's okay, it doesn't matter, it's our art. It doesn't have to look perfect, we're just gonna keep going. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And we're gonna keep going, H. Make sure your letters are nice and big in each square. You don't want them tiny. We have a nice big square, we want a nice big letter. J, K, L, M, N. Look how beautiful these are looking. O, P, Q, R, S. If I make a mistake, I just keep going. Okay, we've got two open ones. So if you want, you can just put some shapes you like, maybe like a heart or maybe like a cool triangle shape. Some little polka dots. Awesome. We decorated our two empties and we decorated every other one with some beautiful letters. And now we have created this amazing alphabet art. I can't wait to see the one that you create.